Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Bobby Lashley, the Dominator. Uh, Lashley is this weekend's showdown scrimmage contest superstar. He is a aggressive striker, modern era. He's got two links, the raw link and the modern era link. And he has the one gear, the Dominator gear, standard, um, raw, any color moves, start with one more move point. He is a trainer, 18k, multiply gems for moves will increase their strength by one. Green submission gems will do 50% more damage per turn. Uh, Alundra comes to mind as someone you might potentially use that on. Uh, Strap, I'm going to be running this one for the duration. I have Rhonda's jacket on him. Um, might surprise a few people. We'll get to the why later. And then um, I don't have a good black percentage move damage metal in Fury. So I just have this janky um, rainbow flat because it has black gem damage. So 88% black gem damage um, as well. Uh, do keep in mind the strap only has 5% gem damage, so a lot of headroom there. Nothing crazy on the metals, uh, so definitely a lot of headroom there if you have Fury 2, that sort of thing. Um, let's take a look at this. I, I have five builds for you guys. Lashley is pretty versatile. His move charges are high, but they are completely workable. We're going to start off with the, the real deal. Uh, 9 MP black could deal 100k, 100k damage plus 129k bonus damage for every multiply gem. This does go up to 201k um, at 6 star on that move. Corner to corner forearm deal 93k damage. Choose 8 gems to make into multis of strength 4. The one hand pop up spine buster 8 MP red deal 90k damage. Choose 6 gems to make into black gems. There's your Entourage, Butch, and Sting to start with the choose, turn one. Elias, so that two, three matches uh, reloads the loads the real deal. And then Bree, so we can choose more black gems. We're going to go against Ivar on the road. The idea behind this one is similar to like a Slick Rick tile style, but not clunky. Um, is fill your black moves and hopefully... Um, have enough to set up like some kind of row break that catches some more black gems. Depends on your board, right? Um, so this looks like it's going to be a pretty decent board. We do need two three matches. Um, and we got some, some stuff cooking um, right here. So hopefully I don't cascade because that's the problem with these uh, style builds. If you cascade... The AI ruins, uh, likely, everything that you uh, tried to accomplish. And let's see if I can not be blind. So I have to go with three matches, uh, which is fine uh, compared to what it could be. So. All right. I love it when a plan comes together. Look at this grouping. Look at Merrick's doing what he hates doing with Slick Rick. But that's because Lashley isn't clunky. So throw your multiply gems out. Do you keep in mind, if you had his plate, you would have seven additional multiply gems. Um, so you'd have 15 of them. And uh, the three star move, or the three star, at six star, that would be worth um, three million damage. This right here. Should be about a million. We had seven additional. Um, yeah, we hit a million. Seven additional would be like another 800-ish, 800k. Um, so it would hit, you know, 1.4 mil with this plate. And then you just do this swipey swipe. And hit for right around another mil. Um, it does load the black moves again not the red so he's gonna kick out but we should be able to get a decent drain um and we're gonna want a pin ideally we would be able to do a match of red with multiply uh or black again we don't have that per se but we do have uh six multiply gems we can get some damage on here and Considering we're going to do a million, it might be enough to keep him down. This, you're obviously seeing the uh, weakness. 
uh, with this particular this particular move set, right? So. don't think that's going to be enough. Never mind, it is. Okay. Excellent. Mainly in there to show you the move. Okay, this is my favorite move set. This is why the um, Ronda's jacket is on there. And... This also lets me almost simulate his six star move. And you're going to be like, what? How is that? Well, I'll kind of explain it all for you guys. Um, we're going to put the hurt lock in. We're going to um, also put this handy dandy move here, corner shoulder thrust. And then we're going to leave the choose move in. So the hurt lock, nine MP red submission it's a choose blue sub choose seven gems to make into blue submission gems uh do 125k for three turns remaining turn into multi gems of strength four at six star those are multis of strength five and then the corner shoulder thrust nine mp blue deal 103k damage and increase the damage of all of your gems by 150 percent for one turn that's all color gems ronda jackets on so we can buff our black and yellow gems by a hundred percent and Entourage, we're going to keep very similar. We are just going to put um, Riddle in for more Choosy Choose with the black because the black gems are going to be so big. And so um, at 6 star, the 6 star move is the Juggernaut move, Fall Away Slam. It's a 6 MP red. That would replace the blue in this. Uh, deal 67k damage and choose one gem to make into a two-turn two Juggernaut gem that will increase your black gem damage by 156% for two turns on every countdown turn and deal zero damage and increase your red MP by nine at the end of the countdown. So the weakness with this build is it doesn't recycle. Uh, with that fall away slam, instead of getting all colors, you get your black uh, gem damage buffed by almost the, exactly the same. Uh, but it would refill it, running triple red. Um, so you would put the the uh, Juggernaut gem down, you would do the sub, it would buff your black gem damage, you would do your choose into the multiplies that you could leave all of them on the board because you don't need to worry about charging blue, and then the next turn it would refill the sub and you would continue in that cycle. It'll make him a, a crazy killer because you're going to see how hard this will hit, uh, and I think you will be impressed by it. Um, there is some variation here because you're only choosing seven and you need two, three matches. So you can end up with anywhere from two to five multiply gems. I would say usually four is fairly common. We'll see what we get here. Ideally, you do not want to cover uh, any black gems. You want as many of those on the board as you can. Um, we hopefully, and you want to stay close to black gems, if possible. Hopefully we will keep all four. It only lasts three turns. Generally, it's not too difficult. We look like we are certainly going to accomplish that. So you can see because of Ronda's jacket, black gems 32k, yellow 16, okay. Uh, now we're going to buff all of our gems 150%. So if you can cascade with this, row break, cascade, it adds a lot more damage uh, to the potential table. And we only have two black gems, so he destroyed most of them. Uh, so that's super crappy. Oops, black gems up to 81k, yellow 40k, these blue multis 120. So obviously we want to get all the multiplies, and that's going to destroy... Uh, pretty much everything we wanted to do with the choosing, right? That's just not good. Can't connect this one. Um, 
So I'm, or I'll lose these two multiplies. So we'll just put one here. This is a really bad hit. And I didn't make a row break. I am stupid. Uh, like I said, really bad hit. I thought I made a row break. Apparently not. Because I'm blind. So ignore all of this. And I'll just play this again. That's not the card's fault or the board's fault. That's Merrick's fault. I will talk less and play more. I'm also tired. I woke up at 4 a.m. <laughs> for some unknown reason. And I didn't record it last night because I was tired and I went to bed way early for me. I think I was in bed by like 10. Usually it's, you know, between midnight and 2 a.m. when I go to bed. Okay, so the three and the three. Boom, boom. These are all around uh, black gems, which is great. Um, let's put this one up higher, maybe be a little bit safer. His wild card here is probably um, going to actually mess my life up. So let's, let's make that blue. Whatever. There go all of my multiply gems. Only on three turns can can this happen to me. <laughs> At least we have a bunch of black gems. So this again as poorly as it can go. Pretty much can't go much worse than this. And you see why being able to leave all of your submission gems uh, at 6 star with triple red would be huge. And I'm not going to do anything fancy here. We're just going to connect the freaking dots. And this is with only two multiply gems. You can see two and a half million hit. The multiply gems are huge. Didn't really cascade at all. Um, I've hit I've hit four million. Usually it's well over three million. But I'm making a preview. It's not cooperating. It's fine. You get the idea. And with the juggernaut gem at six star, you just recycle and do it over and over and over. Quite good. My by far uh, my two preferred setups just for simple, easy, fast wins, right? Um, and the one I can't show you, but that gives you a good idea. Okay, moving on. Dominator, 10 MP red finisher, deal 140k damage, and choose a five by five area to destroy. Back to the corner to corner forearm, and then we're keeping the choose in. So. You have seen all of these, except for the Dominator. Again, I don't have a good Black uh, Fury move damage metal, so leaving a lot of damage on the table um, that you guys will miss out on. Approximately, uh, you know, like 200k. Um, leaving that on the table. And then back to Elias, so uh, two, three matches loads the Dominator in Feud. Where are you? Uh, also, obviously, his skill plate. You would have seven multiply gems on the board to potentially blow up. They are random. Um, taker plate would be fine because you you're choosing black gems, so you'd have the the sigil, the you know, you'd have the. I think it's cross breaks. X breaks, whatever it is, um, on the board. Yeah. And then you want to cluster the other black gems. So you can destroy them and they're all multiply. Now, you, in this case, I am probably going to hit for about 900k to a million. Um, which makes me slightly worried about keeping them down. So I will put two multiplies on red to fully recycle. 
to get the choose move back. If you think you're going to keep him down, you can keep in mind, still do this, hit the finisher, still hit hard, uh, you know, next time too. Uh, this is just me wanting to reload it all, because I doubt I'll keep him down first hit, because I have a crappy move, damage, metal, etc. We're going to hit for about a million. Spoiler. Nine hundred and twenty-three K. It's almost like I played it a few times. And you're just gonna keep doing that. The, you can hit it turn one, which is quite nice. And just keep right on trucking and everything is full. So now we can put all of the black gems in uh, one area, assuming Merrick's doesn't go blind. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This time, much more likely to keep him down, so I can go all on the black gems if I want. I could also, um, since it only takes eight, use one red for four. Because we're going to break three as well. Again, 920k. You'd be hitting for 200k more with a decent move damage medal. I guess I counted this wrong. I thought four and three was seven. And then my turn would be eight. It looked like I destroyed one multiply gem of four. Oh, because it doesn't count as three, so it was six. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm just the content creator that's supposed to know what he's doing. You know. Don't listen to anything I say. I'm tired. Did I mention I was tired? Oh yeah, those aren't black gems. <laughs> Those are not black gems. So, you know, I want to fill my loot boxes since we're likely to keep him down here. That was what it was, right? Those loot box gems. <clears throat> One, two, okay. Three. There you go. You could also run a, a tiara on him, obviously. Um, because you're going to put your multiplies on black gems, so you could run a tiara too. If you wanted to, besides the taker plate. All good options, right? Moving on to a triple black. Um, this one you would want his plate for. That's what would make this one really impressive. <clears throat> but you're playing for turn two on a match. With this build. Bad attitude. You could also run without his plate. Mitigate some of the board luck. Um, and the reason we're playing for turn two is so we can buff the multiply gem move with Balor. So let's go ahead and get Balor on here. Buffs the multiply gem move, lets us make one more. Let's also put Woods on here. that would be useful to have black MP. You are going to need a three match of black. I actually found a decent use for Miz for once. Almost always there's a way better trainer uh, than Miz. But for this one, 
All right. And I know he's rare, I just wanted an excuse to actually use him in a preview. Because, like, I never use him. In fact, I just told somebody I, I never equip Mist. There's always somebody better. Uh, apparently, I lied. And then, uh, because we're playing for turn two, I'm going to throw a universal MP down coach on. All right. This, uh, like I said, ideally with his skill plate, so you have 14 multiply gems when you hit the finisher, 7 extra when you hit the multiply move. We're almost up to 200k. We're choosing 9 multiplies as well. Uh, again, this would not be loaded in feud, so here's our 3 match. Um, so we would be good to go turn 2. There was also blues if we were going that route. We're obviously going to put these all over black gems, so we recycle on that 5x5. Five five. So, those. Um, and then this is the area we're gonna hit. So let's continue to do that. Nine gems at almost 200k. This should be like 1.8 million, roughly. One seven, there it is. Uh, finisher's gonna reload it all. So you are playing for turn two. Of course, with his skill plate, uh, I think it's a one-shot every time. I think we're likely to one-shot um, what's-his-face here anyway. Because we've taken him well under that kick-out threshold. Um, best with his skill plate and playing for turn two. Right? That's just on there to show you the option. This last move set, I wish I had a Colossus plate. Because I feel like with a Colossus plate, uh, I'm actually I actually asked for one if I can get one um, before the weekend is over. Will I still have Lashley on my account? I'll make a video with that as well as uh, his plate on a little bit more like rare video. Um, with this is more average, but I feel like this build uh, absolutely could smack um, with the Colossus plate. So that's why it's on there. We're gonna go back to the Hurt Lock. And Rhonda's jacket isn't going to do much for us here. And we're going to see... We haven't seen this move yet, which is why this is on here. The Back Breaker Rack Drop. 8 MP blue, deal 90k damage, choose 6 gems to make into red. And then, of course, the buff move. So I think you get the idea of what I would be going for with the Colossus plate here. Uh, you're choosing the red gems to blow up the board after buffing it and then getting the Colossus plate to break even more stuff. Um, you can blow up the board. So there's that. Entourage back to double red for the sub. Santa Hogan don't, doesn't need to be 7k. He's just on there for uh, all the different gem damage colors. Butch and Sting, start with the sub, use the sub to fill the blues, drain your enemy's uh, MP, protect you, keep you safe, all of that good stuff. You know, using subs the way you kind of designed to use as a setup to other things, not as a one-click win. I like that. And then uh, Snoop, because he's blue and red gems, which we're breaking blue and red gems, so, you know, why not? He fits. All right, let's make it happen. Again, uh, two words for you also uh, would be quite fun. Or um, I think choose red might be the twilight ritual plate on the free prize wall. I can double check that after the match, assuming I remember. Uh, we've covered this two, three matches, loads it. Then you want to keep your multiply gems uh, on the board if possible. So there's two ways you can go about this. Because we're going to buff the gems... Uh, we can try and choose and finish it, um, or choose and then go right back to the sub and then finish it next turn. So there's a lot of different ways you can potentially uh, go about this. You'll see what I mean.
because we are buffing all color gems. Um, you know, same thing with making a big cascade. Of course, our, um, we want to refill the red. He's not in danger, so if they're not in danger, you might as well go for the win if it's feud. Like, if they're not going to get their moves off. Uh, just go ahead and do your choose. See what, what you can do. Um, let's go with a row break. Maybe we'll drop black gem down. You can see that shoes hit for over a million. So, like I said, if they're this this buff with the sub is just a good combo. So, if they're not in danger of hitting their move, you might as well go to see if you can get the win, uh, and then hit the sub again next turn, right? So. Again, very useful. Now imagine that with the Colossus Plate throwing a bunch more red gems everywhere. Um, boy, I think that'll be really good. So like I said, if I get that uh, this weekend, I will make a video with that. And then I'll throw his plate on for that video too. Uh, but I do want people to see what he potentially would look like if you don't get his plate. Uh, I still think he's extremely viable without his plate. And especially with Rhonda's jacket, and especially at 6-star, that triple red is absolutely um, going to destroy people. Uh, he's going to be incredibly good and very safe, and I think it is the Twilight Ritual. Yeah, so that last build said I would use the Twilight Ritual. Um, just keep in mind, you can potentially mess up not giving up your turn with that too. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I think Lashley's a lot of fun. I think he's really good. Oh, yeah, where would he fit on my roster? So um, I think Cody and Rocker Sean are better, but Lashley is different. Um, besides Cody and Rocker Sean, and I don't have Cody, uh, I think, boy, I think that there's a chance he would be the next best striker for me um, up there with Foley. I think he probably would be. So I feel like he's in S tier. Um, not on the level of Rocker, Sean, or Cody, but in that next level. I think he's super good. And I wouldn't hesitate to level him to use. Um, especially if you don't have uh, Cody or Sean, or like in my case, if you have an affiliation and you can run two or four, uh, he, would, he would easily be in contention uh, for that. Um, I think he's right there with Foley, uh, especially that at six star. Boy, I tell you, at six star, I think he's going to be absolutely nutty. I think he's great with his plate. That being said, his plate is good on so many people. Uh, I could name a bajillion, like uh, anyone that uses a black move and has a any kind of board destruction choose move sort of thing. Um, but Lashley's great. I think he's going to be a good addition. Hopefully he's not super hard to get being a scrimmage guy, and I think he'll be a great uh, addition to a lot of people's roster. And, of course, it's Bobby Lashley who a lot of people like. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you find it helpful. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.